to our Academy of Arts at home. We do have a page on there on our Facebook page. So today we're going to be doing frescoes, which is a really uh, nice technique that was, you know, goes back from, you know, like 1600 BC, you know, during the Bronze Age in Greece, they found some beautiful frescoes in some caves. And anyways, they're beautiful images. Um, I put on my Facebook what you're going to need for this, and it's a really easy thing. You'll need a, a, can a canvas board, uh, you'll need some burlap, of course. The burlap is nice because we're going to use it to cover their surface. So we're going to do a fresco on actual a canvas. Uh, so that'll be really nice. It's more like a canvas board um, panels. That's what these are called. So if you were doing actually frescoes on the wall, you would be doing them as you go. So you would be putting fresh plaster on the wall and then you would be painting as you would go along. Uh, so that's a really easy technique. Um, for this one, we're going to use a uh, plaster of Paris, of course. You can actually get these at any art store, Hobby Lobby, whatever. Sometimes you can even find them at Lowe's. Um, I usually buy big bags because we are an arts organization, so I do have a lot of kids that do these projects with us, so I need enough for everybody. So I usually buy the huge uh, bag of plaster. But for something like this, you can just buy a nice box of the DAP uh, plaster, which is real nice. It's a, a dry mix. And so then we'll be mixing water with it. You'll need water for this one. Some mixing cups if you want to measure it. Um, it's two parts of plaster to, um, normally that's the way it works. I usually do it by eye. So it would be um, two parts of the, the plaster to one part water, okay? So whenever you're gonna mix that, I'm, I have this nice little bucket. We get these like at the dollar store here with a nice little mixing spatula. That'll help mix the plaster. I love to do it with my hands and so do the kids. Um, I've got some paint brushes here. So I've got different types. I've got some fine point, uh, different uh, grades. I've got a 10, an eight. Um, I've got a 12 right here. Uh, this one's a four, another 10 and a six, okay? And so those will be really nice for me, and a 12 as well. This is a larger one, which is really nice. I've got some little large popsicle sticks, which are really nice to do some mixing and pouring the plaster out of there. Um, I do have some willow charcoal, which is really great for you to draw your image. If you'd like, you can use this. It's just easier to erase off of paper. Um, I've got my uh, lead pencil. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, you know, just get a little piece of paper. I went ahead and already started the drawing, so I did an easy drawing. And of course, when you would do something like this on um, a plaster image, you would actually have your drawing that you would have these big sheets of drawings. And as you did the sheets of drawings, you would have actually taken a needle and punch, punctured holes through your picture. So you're going through your lines and you're puncturing the holes in here. And so as you puncture them, you're getting this um, these little holes in here and so these little holes are really going to help later because if you were doing it on the wall you would tape this up to the wall and then you would run powder on it and it would be a colored powder um, I have some charcoal I have some but mine's not in powder and I can't find my grater so that's okay because I can actually do this freehand and it's okay if I do this freehand and so the word fresco comes from fresh, means fresh in, in Spanish. It's a Latin word. Uh, fresco meaning you're painting on fresh plaster. So when you're painting on fresh plaster, you're actually painting it as it's wet. So when it's wet, it's nice because uh, the paint can kind of absorb through it. So that's why frescoes have lasted for so many thousands of years because they actually are on the surface, but the paint has kind of penetrated into the plaster. So, of course, you know, making plaster, you know, they would have taken limestone, marble, uh, or sometimes travertine, and they would have actually cooked it in the kiln, and, and it actually turns into lime. So that's what you would actually have made, have, that's how plaster came about. They were using um, stone and, and making it into a powder to actually put it on the walls, and it would actually give it um, a more... Um, um, you know, solid texture would give it a nice fine shine. So that was really 
it's nice and it was done for many ages it was done the egyptians did it in their pyramids um the italians did it as well uh, in mexico we see it in many of the murals that are made painted in the government palaces um some of the famous murals in, in mexico like uh, siqueros uh, rivera and clemente orozco of course they were um, commissioned to paint other murals uh, throughout the, the not just the country but other uh, here in the United States, we had uh, several of them that were actually commissioned to, to, to paint several murals here. So, um, you know, it's something that a lot of people don't really know how to do, but it's a real easy technique. Um, I have my stuff ready to go. I'm going to be painting with acrylics. So the acrylic paint, it, because it's water-based, it'll absorb real nice into my plaster. So that'll be really nice. So <clears throat> it's an easy project. Um, I'm excited for everybody to start. So um, this was just gather the tools that you need. And then we'll come back and I'll do the second part of it, okay? Have a great one and I'll see you guys in a few. I usually start at 4 o'clock, so I'll go ahead and start this at 4.